and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is the Smut A Thon and a Polycon 20 in 20 TBR and recommendation video. As I said, this is the a Smut A Thon and a Polycon 20 in 20 challenge recommendation and TBR. So this is a bonus video for you guys if you know what I mean it means it came out on Sunday before Smutathon was supposed to start and being that this year Smutathon is crazy big um, it is the third round. It is hosted by Riley Marie and Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey. And I will leave all of the Smutathon information down in the description box. It runs from June the 3rd until the 9th. And whew, we're using a bingo board this year. Oh my goodness. So many things to pick from. Um, you guys know that I am a mood reader. So I have picked books for all of the almost all of the categories um that I'm going to tell you for my TBR which we'll get into right now um and yeah there are a couple that I decided to double up on or triple up on or actually like quadruple up on I think something like that we'll see I'll name them off I haven't decided if I'm going to do a full board if I'm going to do one line or which line I'm going to do but I'm going to give you guys my TBR right now and then I will give you some recommendations for each one of the squares as well almost all of the squares yeah so for forbidden I'm going to try and either read I don't know for forbidden I have overture by Sky Warren for the LGBTQ plus square, I have Junkie, hashtag Junkie, by Cambria Hebert. For fake dating, I have The Game That Breaks Us by Macaulay Smeltzer. For new to me authors, or author, I have A Girl Like Her by Talia Hibbard. For a author of color, I have A Girl Like Her by Talia Hibbert. For Enemies to Lovers, I have Guns and Hoses by Brenda Cawthorn. For Out of My Comfort Zone, so this is Out of My Comfort Zone because I don't like this author, but I'm going to try and read or take on Verte by Colleen Hoover. For Vacation Romance, I might read Playboy Pilot by Penelope Ward and Vi Keelan. For Different Worlds, I'm going to check out some royalty greatness uh, by reading Royally Matched by Emma Chase. I haven't chosen a book for the read host favorite book yet because for the most part, all of Lainey and Riley's um, favorites I've already read, so that might be a hard one to figure out. Um, for Friends to Lovers, I might try and read Insider by Olivia Cunning. For One Word Title, we're back to Overture by Sky Warren. For Finish a Book in a Day, I'm pretty sure I can finish Overture by Sky Warren in one day because the audiobook I believe is like eight hours, which means it would take me about four, maybe five hours to listen to. For a second chance, I have Waitlist by Candy Steiner, and I have been wanting to read more Candy Steiner books because, yeah, I like her style of writing. It's 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 very interesting. It usually starts off really kind of shaky for me, and then I get into it, and I'm there for it. For Set in a Foreign Country, I have Say Yes to the Marquise, and that is by Tessa Dare. And for Bad Boy slash Bad Girl, I have Fighting for Flight by J.B. Salisbury. For recommendations, I would like to recommend for you guys to read the following books for any of these squares. For Forbidden, I'm going to go with A Wicked Gentleman by Christy Pastore because this book is sort of... Um, boss employee sort of set and they shouldn't be together but they are together and it's sexy yes very much so 
For LGBTQ+, I think you guys should check out Test Drive by Riley Hart, which is a male male romance and it has a lot of heart to it. These two guys meet in a bar, but then come to find out they have another connection that they did not know when they had their sort of one night dance floor hookup. For fake dating, I think you guys should check out Sweet Cheeks by Kay Bromberg. Now this one could also go with a, another one of the squares, but we're going to put it in this one because our two characters in this have to have a past, but then they have to sort of date and be in a relationship for a wedding that this person doesn't really want to go to. Yeah, and it's fun, and it deals with sweets, and it's super sexy. Isn't that what Smutathon's all about? For new to you author, I can't recommend anything for you guys because... Hello, I don't know which authors you guys have read, but if you want to check out my Goodreads page, please make sure you check the description box and be my friend and check out my, um, my bookshelves down there. All the books that I've read and everything like that, you might find an author that I have read that you guys haven't and you might enjoy them. You get to see what I say about them as well. For an author of color, I'm going to tell you guys to recommend or recommend that you guys check out Fifty Shades of Jungle Fever by L.V. Lewis. This is an author of color and it is a play on Fifty Shades of Grey, which I adore. I love that book. I love that series. And this duet definitely has that feel to it. I initially wasn't feeling this first book, but the two books that are out in this duet, I believe it is, I ended up loving them, was there for it, was all about it, yes, and it deals, it really heavily deals with um, black people in the BDSM sort of setting. Was here for it, totally here for it. For Enemies to Lovers, I'm going to recommend that you guys check out The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. I did not like our hero in this book when it first started out. It took me a lot to finally enjoy the hero in this book. And the heroine was real flighty for me in the beginning. But by the end of it, I loved them together and was so here for it. And they were definite enemies. Yes, most definitely. For out of comfort zone, I don't really have a comfort zone that I am out of except for when it comes to certain authors or things that happen to minors. That's sort of where I draw my line, but I have no recommendations for you for those two categories. So like I said, check out my Goodreads profile if you want to know more about the dark romances that I recommend, if that's out of your comfort zone, if, um, I guess, you know, male-male romances, female-female romances, or menage, or any of that type of stuff is out of your comfort zone, I have my book, my Goodreads shelves broken down crazily in depth so you can find a book that may be out of your comfort zone. For a vacation romance, I'm going to recommend that you guys check out Finding Mr. Wrong by A.M. Madden and Joanne Schwimm. This is a book about a couple that goes on a television show that's sort of like a fake dating bachelor on an island type thing and so good, so sexy. And then this cover is just mwah, yes. Yes, so, so much. Mm. For Different Worlds, I'm going to suggest you guys check out the Fireblood Dragon series by Ruby Dixon. It's about dragons, post-apocalyptic United States, and <laughs> dragons and humans hooking up. <laughs> now, I will say this first book is a little hard to get into, but once you start getting into the subsequent books, you start to understand what is really going on with these dragons and these human females, and it's all yummy. It's so good. So very good. For Read a Host Fave, I can't give you a recommendation for that, but I say you guys should go check out uh, Riley and uh, Lainey's videos so you guys can get an idea of which books you haven't read from them. Uh, that they liked. For friends to lovers, I tell 
I think you guys should check out International Player by Louise Bay. I just recently listened to this book and I really, really enjoyed it. You have two friends that were friends and they were their ride or dies, but then they lost touch and he moved to America. She stayed in England. He ends up coming back to England and they are sort of fighting how they really feel, but um, their friendship wants to live on type thing. So yeah, go check that one out. For a one word title, I'm going to suggest that you guys pick up the Elite 7 series by various different authors. You have all of the deadly sins and if you read them in order, you're going to love it. You have Lust by Cara Duque, Pride by J.D. Hollyfeld, Wrath by Claire C. Riley, Envy by M.N. Forgey, Gluttony by Kay Webster, Sloth by Gianna Darling, and Greed, which was just released last week by Cara Duque and Kay Webster. This series is freaking amazing. Not to mention these covers are just fabulous. Oh my god. But they're all one word. I'd say you should start with lust and get on top of that because one word, right? Yes. And once you get into it, you're gonna love it. I, If you're into dark romances, yes. For finish a book in one day, I can't give you a recommendation. However, if, because I don't know your reading speeds. So if you can, you know, do that. Do it. Great. Yay. Awesome. For Second Chance, I, t I suggest that you guys check out That Second Chance by Megan Quinn, which is a fairly new release for this year. And <sighs> this book is about a group of men that are brothers that live in small town Maine. They have family. And if you liked the proposal, then I think you will enjoy that small town feel aspect of this book because totally here for it. Our main hero in this book went down to New Orleans with his brothers and they feel like now that they are back in their small town, they have a curse on them where they can't find love. And our female character, our heroine in this, is from out of town. She's come in town to sort of start her life over again. And the two of them, in their meeting, it's over an accident. And it's freaking fabulous. Fabulous. So funny. Such a funny scene. Just so good. For a book that is set in a foreign country, I'm suggesting you guys check out Gentleman's Sinner by Jody Ellen Malpas. <sighs> yes, so good. Set in England, so unfortunately if you're in England you can't read it because it's not, it wouldn't be a foreign country for you. But if you're in the United States, uh, Jody Ellen Malpas is amazing when it comes to the sexy, dark, twisted craziness that is romance from the UK and I am totally here for it. I love, love, loved this book. Our main female character is a nurse and she just wants to do good. Our main male character is tortured and tragic and he doesn't like to be touched and it's just so good. So good. Go check it out. Go check that out. And then finally for Bad Girl, Bad Boy, um, I'm going to go with Craving Mr. Kinky by A.M. Madden and Joanne Schwimm because our main male character in this is, he's kinky as hell. And our female character is a freaking badass. She is a kindergarten teacher and I loved her. I loved her. I loved all her sassiness towards him and their sassiness together is just mwah, on par, on par. So that is the Smothathon portion of this. Now the easy part of talking about a Polycon 20 and 20 um, is a readathon that is being hosted by the, you know, people from a Polycon, which is Jennifer L. Armentrout and all of her fabulous workers that work with her. Um, they decided to give us a challenge to try and read 20 of the authors that are being featured in 2020 for Polycon. I will leave the link down in the description box so you guys can go check out this full list. But here are the 20 that I will be trying to tackle.
a polycon or a polycon 20 and 20 challenge will be running from memorial day until labor day which is may the 27th so it already started until september the 2nd which is like months away but we're going to get into it so here are the 20 books that i am going to try and read over that time frame to make this challenge like on par for it right i'm going to try and read the one that got away by aj pine the charmer by avery flynn hashtag junkie by cambria hebert love divide by carrie hart getting lucky number seven by cindy matson Imperfect Match by Corinne Michaels and Melanie Harlow. The Outpost by Devonie Perry. Voyeur by Fiona Cole. Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. My Lady Jane by Jody Meadows, Cynthia Head, and Verody Ashton. The Highlander by Kerrigan Bryn. Midlife Crisis by L.B. Dunbar. Whispers in the Dark by Letitia Newton, The Kiss Thief by L.J. Shin, Prisoned by Marnie Mann, Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I know this has been on my list for like four or five like different readathons. I'm going. I'm going to make it happen this year. It's going to happen. Crossroads by Riley Hart, which is the first book in the Crossroads series, I believe. And I believe I've already met these characters from Test Drive, but now I get to hear their story. Overture by Sky Warren. Girls with Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. And Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey, which comes out soon. And I already have an arc for it, so I'll be trying to get that in as well. So let me know if you have read any of all of those books. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I can't give you recommendations for the Apollycon 20 and 20 because I don't know which authors you have read and which ones you haven't read. Those are the books that I'm reading. There are over a hundred authors on the list. So make sure you go check the link out if you want to see the other authors that are being seen or attending a Polycon next year, which I got tickets for. Mm, mm, mm. So that means you guys are going to know the video for it. Let me know if you are uh, participating in Smutathon as well. Let me know if you have your TBR videos out down in the description box. Don't use your link, but leave me a note saying, hey, I have a video and I'll go check it out as well. <sighs> As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.